Hi everyone, it's Renee with Not Sorry for the Story, an unapologetic take on current affairs. I'm here today on Canada Day. Happy Canada Day to you. If you are celebrating, if you are in a reflective place, if you are grieving, we all who find ourselves in this land or under this canopy at this particular time. And at this particular time, it happens to be Canada's birthday. Just imagine if someone were to um, come to you or put on a campaign and say that your birthday is canceled. The first thing I would think is how rude. <laughs> you clearly don't know your place. My birthday does not necessarily have anything to do with you. And I will exist whether you choose to celebrate me or acknowledge me or not. However, this is where we find ourselves. This is the first Canada Day where I actually have a hesitancy to say happy Canada Day. It's as though it's become a bad word over these last few days and weeks in this nation as a result of unmarked graves that have been found on former residential school properties. And I know that different ones of us, like at all times are finding ourselves in different places, contemplative, grieving, wanting to celebrate, not knowing what to do. But I want to just put to us, I hope we can know that certain things can exist in the room together. Isn't that what Canada is? So we can have people who are thankful for this land and also be thinking and grieving with those who might be shedding tears today. I hope we are not a part of trying to cancel one another's choices or even cancel something that is bigger than us. Canada is bigger than me. And so I know I have no business trying to cancel it. And I know there are different people on the spectrum in regards to they're in a contemplative place but they're celebrating Canada. Some are in deep grieving and say Canada has no business being celebrated and, and actually canceled events. Several cities across our nation has have done this. Just wanna remind us that you cannot cancel something that you did not create. Canada is bigger than all of us. So I do trust that our flag will rise again. I do trust that hope will rise again and that we will be thankful for the land where we have the choice. <laughs> we have the choice to speak or not speak, choose, not choose. What a beautiful place we live in. On this Canada Day, I say happy Canada Day to you. God bless and heal our land.